Welcome to Teledynamics video training series for the UCM 6300. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. The first step is to log into the GUI of the UCM. Today, I will show you how to create an IVR, or auto attendant, to answer incoming calls and let your callers decide on their own call flow. Go to Call Features and click on IVR. Next, click the Add button. Give your new IVR a name. Then hover your mouse over the text to see a pop-up description of each setting and familiarize yourself with the additional available options. Typically, you would allow dialing directly to extensions from an IVR. You would also want to record a prompt that lets your callers know what the different key pressing events are routed to. For example, Welcome to XYZ Company. For sales, press 1. For tech support, press 2. For the dial by name directory, press 4. And so on. Once you are satisfied with the settings on the basic tab, Click on the Key Pressing Events tab to assign which keys will route the callers to where. In the example, I have created a ring group for sales and a queue for tech support. Once you've finished assigning values to your keys, make sure you click the Save button and then Apply Changes. To test the functionality of your new IVR, you can dial the extension of the IVR, in our example, 7000, from any extension on the UCM and test that your key press events route the callers correctly. If you want to set up a dial-by-name directory to add to your IVR, you will first need to create the dial-by-name extension, as shown here. Make sure all of your extensions have a first and last name entered or it will not work. Save and apply the changes. To test your new directory, you can either add the dial-by-name extension to your IVR, as shown, or you could simply dial the extension number of the dial-by-name. In the example, it would be 7101. The last topic to cover today is to answer a common question that I get asked regularly. How do you set up voicemail access on a UCM for employees outside the company? I'm going to show you the simplest way I've found to accomplish this task. First, create an extension that always call forwards to the UCM's voicemail access code of star 98. Then, assigned an unannounced key press event in your IVR, in our example 8, to call this voicemail access extension. As you can see in the example, dialing the IVR number of 7000 answers the call then dialing a key press event of 8 while connected to the IVR forwards the call to star 98 and the voicemail system answers. 
It's really that simple. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamic salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.